Hey guys, it's Kim Rivel here coming to you just to piggyback off the video I posted this morning of Krishan Live. It wasn't a full live, it was just some of the live and I was sitting down thinking, going through the comments of what people were saying to her and I was like, here we go again. And I'm not one of the people that unfollowed or didn't follow her. I was never following her. There's a lot of stuff that I don't follow. And it's not because I think I'm better than anybody. Yet come back and speak on it. It's because certain things just don't, it just doesn't jump out to me. When I look at Krishan's story, Krishan has a success story that nobody will ever have again in her family. And I don't think history will repeat itself with her. I don't think she'll, lightning will strike her twice. Meaning, I think her, her clout is fading. Her cloud is fading away. She's sizzling. She's simmering away. That's why she's coming up with these great antics with the old moving into Blue Hill's house, showing you guys the U-Haul truck doing the tattoo because she could have did that quietly. Nobody had to know. She could have moved in there quietly until somebody went on live, until somebody said something, then she could have said something. But she wants you guys to know that she with her man, her man, her man. She wants you guys to know she'll stick beside him. And I'm listening to her talking today. And I'm like, yeah. She said she's his rock. One a person like her is hard to find. I guess she's saying she's better than Jaden. She's better than all the rest. Hey, pop your shit because that's what she does. My problem that she, I'm have with the stuff that she does is because Krishan is pushing this through, and she's doing it because she likes an audience. She's addicted to this clout. She's addicted to the to the attention. To say what you want. She's addicted to it because she can move quietly. You know, we will come on the internet and do whatever, but she likes the audience. But there's young girls. There's young people that follows her and believe this is okay. There's young people that will go into a relationship, know somebody has somebody, and be like, oh, if she got him, I will get him. There's young people out there that will think this behavior that she's doing is okay. There's people that's going to be touching two and dying, tattooing dude's name on their face and think it's okay. Why? Because Krishan, it isn't. They love Krishan. It's a trend. There's people out there that's going to think it's okay to be walking around as a walking sign sheet because it seems like her and love and tattoo is the equation of it all. If I love you, I put you as a tattoo on me and we're good to go. Boom, boom, boom. How do she decide that, oh, I'm not going to make no money? First, it was like, my son, my son, my son, my son is my everything. She said that again today. But aren't you supposed to be making money for your son? Her money is not coming in like it's used to because a lot of rappers and people tell you they make their money off their tours. They make their money off their performance. She's not doing none of those. I asked the question in my last video, how is she, she going to, how is she, her and Jaden going to do when he goes, if he goes spend all that time? And when I posted the video, when Walk was talking about why Blueface got violated, I saw people came in my comments and said, oh, well, Walk is blaming the girls and it's not their fault. He blamed them to a degree because he said Blueface doesn't listen and he need to sit down. But he also held Blueface accountable. And I think people missed that part. He said he told him to take the time, sit down for a minute, but Blueface wanted to do the, I can't remember the word he said, because I'm not good on that, all that yin yang stuff. But he said because he knew Blueface couldn't keep still and he couldn't behave, he should have just did his time and be out. But Blueface didn't want to do that. So he also hold him accountable. He said he didn't listen to him, that's why he's in the trouble he in. He listened to the females, that's where he tied the females in. He did blame Rock more than Jaden, and but he said he doesn't listen to him. He let these girls get in his head. But at the end of the day, he still called out Blueface for his bullshit for not listening. Blueface is 27. He's going to do what he want to do. Walk is could only do so much. And after a while, he'll Walk will find him a liability and have to let him go. He will find him a liability and have to let him go. Because he's not going to be making money off of the boot, dude. He's going to be spending money on him. Secondly... So when Krishan was talking all this stuff about her and him being together and it's a rock, and she's talking about, oh, we talk behind, we talk now because prison, he, we have to talk, we have to talk, we have to talk. And yes, she talked about everything they talk about, about them and they cried and everything else. But she never talked about, oh, why does he say the baby's not his? And if you come in my comment talking about she doesn't have to, no, she does not have to. Because that's never came out of my mouth. I said, why hasn't she? Because she's put us in everything else. Well, y'all, I'll just catch it because it comes on my timeline. She put everybody else in everything else. She put the fact that she moved in. Everything she does, because she wants y'all to know that's her nigga. She put it in there. So why not put, oh, the conversation about the baby. Just talking about, oh, he can't tell me why. I don't know why he did it. He's from L.A. It's fast. That's not an excuse. That's not an excuse. But as the person that's supposed to protect her child, you're all worried about you, your feelings. You're worried about him doing for you. You think you're going to have this wonderful family. And when you have YouTubers and T-pages talking about, oh, the baby's off limits, the baby's off limits. 
for the love of Lord, for the love of the, for the love of everything. If he didn't put the baby's hernia out, she probably wouldn't have went to do it. We don't know because she lies. Maybe she would, maybe she wouldn't have. Again, we don't know. But also, if something is wrong with the baby, because she acts like it's just there for a photo op. She's not going to say. But if they have this 11, these are other 11 kids, and they have to have these f- pictures and all this family time and showing all this stuff. What will happen when my day come? Because my day is when people start telling you shit. What happened when my day come in blue stuff to talk about why the baby is the way it is? If it's not normal. Because if he's normal, we'll know. Because she'll show pictures of a baby normal, right? She'll show pictures of a baby milestone. When she want to come cry to y'all in front of the Bible and playing Sarah Jakes behind Sarah Jakes behind on the screen. She'll have the baby in her hand, right? Or she'll show you, oh, he's walking his first step. His first talk, his Google Gaga, his bottle holding episode. Because he's supposed to be holding his bottle by now, right? Because he's five months. He's supposed to be holding his bottle by now. If nothing else, by seven months, he should be crawling. So she still got two months of that. Some crawl before that, some crawl later. So when you're sitting there and saying that she doesn't have to, and she doesn't have to tell us anything, she doesn't. But she always wanted to tell us about Blueface, so why not tell us about everything? And again, back to what I was saying, Krishan is being pushed into the media. When you have little girls that know about her, Sex and Sukiana, all these girls... They're they're not they're not they'll say oh well I I don't want to be a role model for your child and no but you're all over the screen and a lot of females and males so they don't raise their kids everything is sexualized so they let the TV raise their kids the kids are on the internet more than they, they need to be the kids are on social media the kids are on they have IG they have Instagram they're surfing the net they're on Facebook so they see these things and they think it's a norm you have some baby mama sitting there talking about oh Krishan got her dude back I'm gonna get mine back you have some baby mama went into a relationship when a dude had a girl and he's just playing in the field because all he's done with both of them is use one to hurt the other one. He's put one in one place, put the other one in the other place. He swapped them out, left and right. That's what he's been doing with Jaden and um, Krishan. Swapped them out left and right. But you know who's getting hurt? The kids. But yeah, kids are not off limit. It's off. The, the, you hear people saying, oh, the pictures were distorted off the baby. Krishan has been putting filter on that baby like she's putting filter on herself. Her sister does the same thing. They put on filters. But nobody talk about that. I saw Jaden put a picture of her skin with a filter and y'all was talking about, oh, but it's a filter, it's a filter. Y'all never adjust the fact that Krishan has a filter on. Nobody has ever adjusted that she has a filter on. Nobody's taken away from her beauty. We're talking about the filter. She's always had a filter on that baby. She always has. But at the same time, that's her child. Do what you like. Do what the hell you like. But the stuff that is pushed out into the public with these young children coming up, these young girls, these young boys... Boys that will think that it's okay. I've talked to my son. I talk to my daughters. You know why? Because I'm not going to let the YouTube and the Instagram and the Facebook and all that raise my kids. Those are my kids. So I have to raise them. I'm responsible for what they put out when they go on the street. When they go on the street, they represent me and their father. So I have to make sure my kids know what's right from wrong. So I take that seriously. How she raised her kids is how she want to raise her kids. But I'm looking at the comments and people are not listening to her foolishness anymore. And they've, they've, they're, they're not entertained by it to that they, they look because everybody likes to see a train wreck. Everybody want to be entertained by the train wreck. Even when she t- gives the video, Krishan does not give a full sentence and ends it. It goes from one thing into something else. She has, she has t- her thoughts is all over the place. And because I don't want to say anything, and y'all are like, oh, you can't diagnose her. How can you? Di-? I don't want to say none of that because I've never tried to diagnose her because that's not my job. She's not a patient of mine. But her thought is all over the place. She's not thinking clearly. The girl is just wants what she wants and think the rest will fall in place. If Blueface is 27 and have been doing the foolishness now, what you think going to happen when he cuts out? Give him a month or three months when he get out, even if that, if that long, if he won't go back to his old ways. You think he's not going to go back to his old ways? You think that Krishan is healed enough for her and Blueface to make it through the end of time? Do you think he's healed enough to carry her through her trauma to the end of time? You think all this jail talking is going to fix it? You think it's going to fix it? If it, fi- if it, You think this is what's going to keep them together? I think this is God trying to show her a way out. He's trying to show her a way out. But she's over there talking about, oh... 
um, he was pretending. He was pretending. He was never pretending. He did not have to pretend with Jaden because he didn't have to be with Jaden. But he feels like the type of person that does not like to be by himself. If you know, you know. He's just like, like, oh, who is it? J-Lo. Has J-Lo ever been, not been in a relationship or engaged? Blueface looks like he doesn't like to be by himself. Like, he'll sleep around. And also, he has a thing where he he's used to his house being clean and stuff. Krishan is not that type. He's shown over and over she's not that type. She doesn't even have a car. But yet, do y'all believe she has her house and everything else? She showed a video of them at the house playing in the house. The house is so broken. It's broken. And let me not say she doesn't have the house. Who knows? At this point, there's nothing in there. It's like... It's like it's a ghost house. It's like a haunted house. Like they came to wake up the ghost. There's nothing in there. Her and Marsh and whoever it was. I think Marshall was sliding on like on a clothes rack. Must have been the clothes rack that Fashion Over brought for her. They're sliding in the hallway with a clothes rack. There's nothing in the house. She's on uh, every time you see her in a car, she's in either an Uber or something. She doesn't even have her car. She doesn't have her car. So why isn't she driving blue face car? She doesn't have her car. But yet you guys believe this foolishness. Do I believe she she needs a moment because blue, sh- nobody's checking for her? Yes. Do I believe because Blueface is gone, she can't blame him for any destruction? Yes. So no, it's this big love they have. And oh, and if she's at the house, she's at the house. I don't know. Don't care. That's not my house. I don't pay over that paper, the one I live in. Thank you. The one I've been living in. Thank you. Thank God. I pay for that one. I don't have them trouble tribulations. I have my car paid off. And my car is paid off. So I don't know. And before anybody come in my comment about anything, yes, I have a BMW. Mm-hmm. And I, t- I pop my shit like she does. My shit is paid off. So <clears throat> I don't understand why. It's like, it's okay that she's she's okay with this relationship that she thinks is going to last. And for her sake, I swear to goodness, I hope it lasts and he don't bleed her like he's been bleeding her. For her mental health, I hope it does. Because something in the water isn't clean and we'll hear the rest of the story and the worst of the story when he gets out. But for the people that are coming up, pushing this stuff is not healthy. For the YouTubers and the t page that are, oh, Christian, we're going to defend you. We'll never change up on you. What is change up on her house to do? Like, okay, that's what you're doing, stupid. Call it out. That's it. Nobody's telling you to change up. Nobody's telling you to hate her. Hate her for what? She's a human being. It's just calling out what she's doing wrong. Because at the end of the day, maybe if enough people were calling it out back then, she wouldn't have been this far now. Zeus put her on to exploit her. I remember when they went on, um, when they went on, um, what is this thing called? Breakfast Club. And Charlemagne called out Lemmy. He was like, why are you guys exploiting her? They're exploiting her. They made her into a monster that they couldn't control. And now she thinks she's bigger than everybody else because she swears about this money, money, money. Money comes and money goes. Money comes and money goes. I've seen a lot of video with nurses talking about how money and how situation. I've even seen a video the other day about, I think I sent it to my sister because my sister's a nurse as well, about this nurse that on a live herself because... It was, well, that's another story in another time. But money coming when it goes. And it's in, you're in California. That's where I'm at. Everything is high in California. If you know, you know. It's not cheap living out here, no matter what part you live. Shoot. But at the same time, she's talking this talk, and I hope it meets what she, I hope the outcome is what she wants, and I hope the outcome is what she needs. But I don't think she needs a blue face. I don't think Blueface needs her. I don't even think he'll end up with her or Jane when he gets out. I think Blueface will grow out of it. Because unless she heals her diamond, diamond now, unless she heals her demon, she will be of no use to him or her child. Unless he heals his demon, he will not be of no use to her or his children. But because they both need to heal. They have unresolved issues that they need to go through so that they can make better decisions and be better people for their kids and the kids can be better people in society. Because when their kids grow up and see all this foolishness that they've done, because they'll be able to able to grow, Google their parents, they will see all this foolishness and all this, how people drag her. Like people went from in the same internet that push you up, pull you down. The same people that champion you going up will be the same people that pull you down these people are all loving on her for her foolishness 
But fighting is not the way to go. But again, this whole family seems like it's distorted. Her whole family seems like it's off the chain. Because if it's true what the niece said that Chastity is sleeping with the other niece, China don't uh, uh, admit to sleeping with her daughter's boyfriend or her daughter's child's father. They said Tessiki is with Chastity's old boyfriend. But then, if she been with dude 10 years, she said she'd been with him 10 years. <sighs> the boyfriend would have been 1918. Doesn't make a difference. I just like to see how far of it it was. Then you have um, the sis- the ex-sister-in-law. Going back to that, Christian ex-sister-in-law that was married to her or was with her older brother, Terrence, the one that has the bookstore. She's a mental health coach, I believe. When she was at the hospital trying to talk to her and trying to show her how to read the character and her anger. Oh, tongue tied. She could have even tapped into those resources. She has the money and the resources. She's not on the county. She's not working a nine to five, making fifteen or twenty dollars an hour. So she only have money for bills, and she has a bag of kids, and she can't pay to seek a therapist. She has the resources to get the help to be a better individual, to be a better person than her mom was, to be a better parent than her parents were to her, to give her baby a different chance than she had. And that's what people keep missing. She has the resources to do better. And she has the resources to do the work on herself so she could be better for her kids. So she could show her brother who's following into their footsteps. Like the whole family is into this circle, this merry-go-round of craziness that nobody wants to jump off of and say, you know what? It stops here. They're not trying to stop it because everybody's worried about a bag and talking about who broke and who ain't got no money and I got money and I could buy your life and all this foolishness. When money is not the answer, it's, it solves problem, but it's not the answer. Money solves money problem. It's not the answer. <clears throat> but let me know what you guys think. I'll put some clips in like I always do. And I'll put some screenshots in here. Even when Rufus was on a breakfast club, I was looking at it today. They asked him if he would marry, if he would put a Krishan tattoo on him. He said, hell no. Yet she's talking about, oh, will you put one on you? And he said, yeah. And then she asked again and he didn't respond. It's like he, they asked him if he would marry. He said, no. When he talked about the marriage thing to Jaden, he said, I did it because I wanted to make her happy. Her happy. Now she's talking about they weren't happy without each other. Does she even know what happiness is for him? Because I don't think he knows what happiness is for himself. But when you come in my comment, I don't hate the girl because I don't know her. What she does is terrible because she's playing on you guys' emotions. She's like an emotional vampire. She's playing on you guys' feelings. She's playing on people that has gone through real DV. She's been through some, yes. She's definitely been through some. But people that has no choice, people that can't get up and move from where they're at, people that are stuck, don't have the resources, the money to stay, to leave that situation. What about those people? She's playing on those people's faces because yet you're sitting here going back to your abuser like you said. You said, oh, I lied and called him a fruity loop because he keep lying on me or he keep calling my son Charles Barkley. He said the Charles Barkley son thing... When she went to the house with the baby in the front of the car seat where she threw the cover over the baby face. Because a lot of people talk about that incident, but they didn't talk about how she put the cover over the baby face in the front of the car seat. That's when he called the baby to Charles Barkley. But a liar has no memory. I will always say that and I will say that again. A liar has no memory and she will continue to lie because she doesn't, she, when she gets caught up, she lie, cry, hold the baby and read the Bible. And I think everybody has gotten on to her shenanigans. But hey, when y'all tell it, oh, she, y'all people used to swear in these comments. Oh, she's God and God, and she keep playing with him, and he, she gonna find out. She keep playing with him, and she's gonna find out. But that's between her and her God, right? Because that's what somebody had told me. At the end of the day, you also don't want that to be passed on to people thinking it's okay to play with him as well. Because to each one, you teach one, and you teach the right way. But she has no excuse for what she's doing. She has resources, not excuses. Because at some point, you have to stop taking excuses and stop letting her be a victim when she's participating willingly. At some point, you got to hold her accountable. But nobody want to hold her accountable because she's young and she learned on her own time and until somebody gets hurt. And then it'll be like, oh, if y'all should have, or should have, it's going to be the shoulders, which is sad. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Sound off. If you like my commentary, subscribe, like, share, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.